once the heavyweight boxing champion of the world. Primo really towers over Jim Londis, so he may have a very definite point proved in this match, that size makes no difference. It's leverage that counts. And anybody that knows Jim Londis knows that he is a real authority on leverage. At this time, presenting, ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest wrestlers ever to enter a ring, your old favorite, Ed Strangler Lewis. From Greece and known as the Golden Greek, weighing 202 pounds, wearing blue trunks, Jim Landis. <laughs> Presenting a former world's heavyweight champion, from Sequals, Italy, weigh 263 pounds, wearing green trunks, Primo Canera. And as your referee this evening, a former heavyweight boxing champion of the world, Max Bear. Now you fellas know the rules and regulations. I don't want to have to break you up and pull you apart. I tell you to break, break, break clean. It's all four fingers, no one fingers, no choking, no hair pulling, no kicking, no gouging. Ten seconds outside the ring here on the mat. Twenty on the floor, am I correct? On the ropes, I'll give you a four count. If I tell you to break, you don't break, I have to disqualify at the four count, right, sir? You fellas understand. You both wrestled for a long time. No elbow, no, uh, no elbow, no no knee, or no he it heel, and the man's got a fl uh, elbow or an arm on the floor, stomping. That's permissible, right, sir? No, no, no gossip, right? All right, fine. Shake hands and come out fighting with a bell ring. So settle you back, and here we go. An interesting little highlight here. In this ring, you have three men. In this ring, you have three champions. Max Bear, a former champion, Jim Londis, former wrestling champion, and Primo Conera, a former boxing heavyweight champion of the world. Notice your difference in size. Automatically, you say, how can Londis handle a man as big as Conera? Remember, size makes no difference. The young boy credits himself with a lot of power so that he got all that power from drinking raw olive oil all through his youth. The boy brought up on a farm in Greece. Decided the farm life was not for him. Left his homeland. Joined a vaudeville act as a strong man. From there, went into wrestling. When he got to America, he had heard of Jack London, respected Jack London. He said, that's a good name, I'll take it. But London doesn't sound Greek, so he changed the N to an S. And so, Jim Londis. As a rear chantry by Carnera, there's an exhibition of leverage now by Londis. You notice Carnera couldn't use the hip roll on him. to tell you which one is Carnera and which is Londis. Again, that rear chancery by Primo Carnera. Watch the way Maxie Bear inches away when those boys try to pin him against the rope. He did it. Turned his back to Maxi Bear and put that little thumb in the eye. Thumb fun. Again. Because that would drive a crowd wild. A big, tall, powerful guy like Primo. Little Jim Lottis, and then he has to use foul tactics.
You may not believe it, but he finds it mighty tough to get Jim Landis off his feet. Notice where Jim puts those feet far apart. There's a counter move. Chin lock, but it didn't work. Maxie tell him, make sure he doesn't use those thumbs and don't use the fist. And Kinnera says, I'm using the open hand. And actually, using the open hand is all right. If he were using the open hand. Watch him. Does that look open to you? The eye may open up, but not the hand. Londis limbers up. Connery getting upset. He says, what do you want to do, run a race or do you want to wrestle? Again, rear chancery by Primo Canera. There again is that exhibition of leverage, and Londis doesn't go over, and Londis doesn't go down. Instead, Canera goes down. Canera with a body scissor on Jim Londis. And a beautiful Boston Crab. I've seen many a man say uncle on this and give up. Will Canera give up on it? Yes, he does. The mighty might conquers the giant. Well, Canera will get time to limber up now. That's a very, very painful hold. Behold, a double leg backbreaker, the winner of the first fall, Jim Landis. And so here's the second fall now. When you get to the knuckle, honey, stop. So with Landis having taken the first fall, here we are in the second now. It's the best two out of three. And here on the left, Londa's way down below him. Maxi Bear circling around. Front chancery now by Carnera. Chancery and headlock, incidentally. It's exactly the same thing. Just a fancy name for it. Man wants it broken up. Exerts the pressure. And the hold is broken. And a reprimand for Maxie Bear. But Maxie's telling him, no fists. So Canera says, I use the heel of my hand. Made Landis give up, nonetheless. So now the score has been evened up. Canera took the second hold. Actually, Maxi Bear accepted the fact that Jim Landis gave up and gave the reprimand to Primo Canera anyhow for this particular fall. He said, does one have trouble with him? Use that open hand. So it's even the way now. Canero with one. Londis took the first. This is the most important one of the three falls now. The man who takes it, he'll be the victor. Ten minutes. And away he goes. Londis almost went off that apron. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lana just got back in there in the nick of time. You know, he could be counted out if he stayed out there. 
or if a man deliberately is inactive in the ring, the referee can start to count and count him out. Slow Nelson by Primo Conera. And look at the way Jim Londis ties himself up in a little ball and won't give Pernera, Primo Conera a chance to grab him. Scissor hold again. Now remember, Jim Londis in that first fall turned Carnier around in a position like this and got that full Boston crab on him. Or the double leg backbreaker, whichever you want to call it, he may be able to do it again. Will he do it again? Let's watch and see. History may repeat itself here. Two minutes, two minutes to go. He couldn't quite get him around. What I'd like to see at this point is a giant swing by little Jim Londis. Swinging the giant around by those ankles. He got him around. But not for long. This is a mighty tense moment here because this could be it. But nope, Jim gives up. Jim Londis on the right. Former wrestling champion. Primo Conera on the left. Ah, ah. Crowd shouting. Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? Well, maybe Jim will whittle Canera down to his One size. More minute to go. Not much time left in this third fall. Again, he tries that hip roll, but Jim won't go over. Front chancery, back body drop. Londis works his way out. 30 seconds. Time growing shorter and shorter now. If this goes to a draw, the match will be a draw. Or if it goes to the end of the time limit, there'll be a decision on this fall. And there's the bell. 